Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you? It is B, and welcome to your reading for your birthday month of April. Thank you so very much for joining me. For those of you that wish to subscribe to my channel, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh, make sure that you are activating that bell so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, you can also go to the website link below. There you can also get a membership to my website, which I hear is very valuable uh, for my members when they get some extra, uh, extra energies uh, that could be happening with them and it helps to put things into a better perspective. But yes, let's get into it, my beautiful Aries. Oh, Aries, what have we got going on with you? Let's see. I am gonna be doing things just a little bit differently. Uh, I noticed that the major themes for like general energy and then home and family life, love life and work and social life were a little bit too restrictive. So I am gonna be using both the major arcana as well as the minor arcana to get some themes and then what we're gonna do, because this is your big kahuna reading, we are going to clarify, so I'm gonna be using the barbieri, okay, for the uh, main energies. I'm gonna be clarifying with the witch's tarot. I'm gonna be uh, bringing in some of the uh, oracle advice. I am going to be looking at deeper levels of kind of the energies that you may be holding on to, causing these energies with my deck, the Gypsy Love Oracle, and I will be doing a major theme just overall with the major arcana. So I hope that made sense. I will definitely talk everybody through this as we keep going here. So let's see what we've got going on for you for the month of April. And members, remember, you are getting a completely different reading, okay? All right. And that will be posted uh, on my website for you to access. I am gonna post these as I finish them. Normally, I like to post them uh, all at the same time. I've been efforting to do that, but with my birthday week and everything going on with me right now, I'm gonna have to post them as I finish them. All right, what do we have going on for the Aries? Sorry about all that housekeeping, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Happy birthday to all of the Aries out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Since this is the big kahuna reading, this likely will be about 30 to 35 minutes long. Just want to let you know that. But my goal is to get you the information that you need in order to make the best decisions for your life. Moving forward, let you know the energies that are around you. Okay. Here's the clarifier. Ooh, a lot of cards, guys, a lot of cards. Just let me know you're getting a lot of cards when it comes to the birthday readings. Oh, there's so many cards. My birthday gift to you. We do have a reversal with one of our clarifiers here. So I will also be reading that upright as all of you know. Let's get into your major theme. There are already 12 cards out on the field, I'm hearing, out on the field. What's going on, Aries? Are you going to a soccer match, a football game? What's going on? Out, out on the field is what I just heard. Is this the one? That's the one. Okay. And let's get your Oracle advice. These are just very helpful pieces of advice. Kind of keep you aware of your own energy as well and how you may be utilizing that energy or not even utilizing that energy. Okay, 
what is the first card for the beautiful Aries out there for the month of April 2024? We have the Five of Wands reversed. Five of Wands reversed. The Five of Wands reversed means there's an end to a conflict. It means that someone doesn't want to fight. There are no more challenges. There is no more competition. Okay. And maybe as it relates to the field, maybe you're in a situation where you're like, man, we're on a winning streak. We're just going to keep winning. For others of you out there, this could have something to do with, you know, man, we're on a losing streak and, you know, what's the point? <laughs> okay. It could go either way. All right. But it is what is coming through here. So the five of wands upright is all about conflict, competition, challenges, um, dealing with issues that could be causing drama or destruction, collateral damage. But when it's reversed, somebody's doing something about that, even internal conflict. So let me see what I am getting psychically from the five of wands reversed. Someone is saying to you, or you might even be saying to yourself, that's it. I don't want any more conflict. I don't want any more drama. This is affecting us in a very negative way. We now have to put our foot down. The other psychic message I am getting from this is someone is getting ready to walk away from a situation. They are saying, you know what, it's not worth our time, it's not worth our energy, and um, it's, it's really best that Ooh, I, okay, so I'm getting an energy here of it's tricky. It's tricky. A situation is a little bit tricky, but it has to be addressed. So I think you have some people on this side saying, this needs to be addressed. We need to take care of this. We need to do this right now. On the other hand, someone is saying, well, what about the collateral damage? How are we going to handle this? Do we need to get legal counsel involved? Do we need to, you know, look at our other options? Are there other options available? That is what I am hearing. But why is this energy here with the five of wands reversed? Ace of wands, a new beginning, a brand new beginning. Someone wants to start a new beginning. Aries, this definitely could be you. You may want a new job. You may want a, a new way of being. You may want, you know, um, a new place to live, whatever that may be. But whatever this new beginning is, it is actually causing someone to say the new beginning is more important than the conflict that arises because of that new beginning. So this is the energy of someone saying, I want to have a, sta a stable and solid foundation. This is what I want. I want people to be passionate. I want people to be involved. I want people to be, you know, um, innovative in situations, but I am not going to sacrifice the fact that I want this new beginning, this really stable foundation for those who are creating drama or those who are causing collateral damage. Okay. For some of you, this new beginning uh, may have something to do with you needing to get over yourself and maybe your own internal conflict regarding a situation. But what is the energy that you're holding within this? Now, the, these are the bonus cards, and these bonus cards are, are absolutely phenomenal because it tells you the energy that you're holding on to that could be causing what is going on as it relates to the general energy of whatever it is you are trying to bring about or accomplish. What is that for you? The talk. Okay, so Aries, for many of you out there, you have, your internal compass right now is on fire, okay? Your internal compass is saying, we gotta talk this out. We gotta talk to our employees. We've gotta talk to our significant others. We've gotta talk to our family. We've, we have to have this talk. 
it's very, very important for everybody to understand where they sit, where they are in this new beginning. Negotiations may be part of this as well. This could even be, and I'm going to be honest with you because the wands cards came up here, this could even be um, uh, having, having a talk at work, okay? Like, Aries, something could be happening here where someone is saying, we need to talk to people individually here. We, um, yes, we can go ahead and we can, we can update the policies. We can, we can put more regulations and expectations on our employees, but we really have to talk to those employees that are causing the drama. We have to address this. We can't sweep it under the rug anymore. That is just an example, but something like that might be happening with your children. Something like that might be happening in the home. Okay, so just be aware of that. So what is going on with the home and the family life? What is your energy? Ah, the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is coming through here. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. And this person possibly could be a child. Uh, they could be immature, they could be a little bit naive, or they could just be really kind of innocent. So with the home and the family, there's an energy of play. There's an energy of, I am hearing for some of you Aries, there is an energy of immaturity coming from a child and you may have to have a talk with them. This may be causing a little bit of in, in, internal conflict, but it really is time for this new beginning. It's a time for the new beginning with your family. It's the time for the new beginning with the child. It's really time to address something. You can't let something go much longer. This could be a message of love coming in uh, from the home and the family life. This could be an offer of emotional support as well. There may be somebody in your sphere that could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, or someone with those traits. Uh, there's someone in your environment that is kind of playing coy. Uh, they want to express love towards you but they may not know how to do so, especially if it relates to children. So they may do things like give you little gifts or they may um, like come up and give you a hug or give you a kiss or whatever. Like they're, they're expressing their love in the way that they feel comfortable with. But why is this energy here with home and family? Ah, the King of Cups. All right. So... Aries, what's happening here is you have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. The uh, king cards are the mutable signs uh, associated with the zodiac. So this could also be uh, definitely a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, as well as a Cancerian person. It is a masculine energy. Uh, they've dealt with a lot of different emotions. They are trying to stay calm in the face of adversity or in the face of conflict or challenges in their life. And someone here, as it relates to this uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, they are, they're, they are, they're putting their foot down. They are putting their foot down. The energy is one of... Um, Being emotionally intelligent towards the situation. They're saying, hey, you know, I understand right now in order for us to start on the right foot, for us to start anew, we need to stop playing around here. We need to make sure that um, we're dotting our I's, we're crossing our T's, we're minding our P's and Q's. We are acting appropriately in a situation. So I'm going to make sure that that's going to happen. And it may start off with a talk. 
And it may also mean that you or someone else has to overcome their own internal conflict in a situation. <coughs> Excuse me. But why is this energy here? No. Somebody said no, no more. Not happening. We're not doing this anymore. Uh, this is causing collateral damage. This is causing drama. This is affecting this new beginning. This is affecting our reputation at work or in the family or wherever. Because for some of you, you know, a lot of times when you think about work, it's, it's, it's a work family. Okay. So someone is saying, no, I'm sorry. Uh, this needs to be handled. I'm not going to let this continue to fester. I am not going to wait for the other shoe to drop. We are going to be uh, addressing this straight away because it really could blow up into something that you don't want to have to deal with within your home, within your work family, or within your home and your home family. But definitely some immature energy coming through here. Uh, but for some of you, some fun energy as well. And for some of you Aries, you know, you might be telling somebody, no, it, it's, it's time to um, understand that this new beginning that you want is here for you, but you have to be more disciplined and you have to, you know, have commitments, loyalties that are kept, promises kept. That could be definitely coming through for some of you out there. So what is the energy for love life and romantic life? The three of pentacles. I really do love this for you, Aries, because this is when you are working hard. You are in teamwork mode with your significant other. If you do not have a significant other, this is somewhere where you're meeting somebody who have the same skills or they have the same level of expertise and you're finding a way to bond in those circumstances, you relate to one another. The Three of Pentacles uh, not only is teamwork, but like I said, it's expertise. It's the expert. It's the uh, you know it's the analyst. It is the person that looks at the details. Some of you Aries might be concerned with time. You might be concerned with well. Do I have enough time to accomplish what I need to accomplish in my relationship? Others of you are saying, wow, you know, the clock is ticking. How much longer do I have to wait? For others of you out there, this could have something to do with timing itself. Okay. You may say you want a relationship. You may say you want this commitment or this loyalty, but perhaps you're not ready for it yet. Um, perhaps the timing is not correct for this to happen just yet because there's an energy here of needing to make sure that those internal conflicts are dealt with. Um, I'm hearing some of you may be going to therapy uh, for your marriage or your, uh, your own personal need or a child's need. Uh, and once, you know, those feelings and those passions or those aggressions even have been dealt with, then there is a moving forward here. Okay. But for many of you out there, especially if you're a couple, the three of pentacles comes in and says, man, you guys make a great team. And this is what you are trying to, um, accomplish or what you are trying to establish. That's kind of what I'm, I'm getting at here. You want to have this established in order to have a stronger foundation where emotions and passions don't get out of control. But why is the three of pentacles here? Why are you working so well with a partner or why do you find someone that is interesting as it relates to, you know, your areas of expertise or, you know, what you do uh, in situations that is similar to someone else as far as it relates to possibly work or a skill 
or some level of knowledge or education. Two of Pentacles. Okay. You have to work together. <laughs> you have to work together on this one. All right. Because there is something going on regarding allocations. There's something going on regarding this has to do with money. The conversations that you're having with a significant other as it relates to whatever this new beginning is and, and keeping conflict at bay and talking things through has to do with the fact that you're trying to find your stability and right now you're in a state of flux. This could be you have one home and you want to buy another home or you want to sell that home and get another home. It's in a state of flux. There may have been some embarrassment in the past, Aries, regarding uh, this particular relationship, maybe as it relates to juggling or a third party coming in and causing some interference. You know, that has been coming up quite a bit in our uh, weekly and daily readings. So the thing about it is, is that someone really does want this new beginning with you or you want this new beginning with someone else. You want to get rid of that conflict. A talk is required. And that talk may consist of, hey, I don't want any interlopers. I don't want anybody coming in and filling your head full of, you know, lies and misinformation or trying to get you to do something uh, that is not going to support our relationship. So someone here is saying, I see your point. I see what's going on here. Um, I will not be juggling anymore. I will really focus and work on this relationship. It's very important to me. I was very embarrassed by what happened in the past. And now I know I need to work a little bit harder on this relationship and I'm going to be doing that. But why is uh, this energy being attracted to you? Okay, why is the energy being attracted to you? What are you holding within you? It is a reverse card, so we're going to read it reversed as well as upright. healing in the reverse. So someone has refused to heal from prior letdowns, prior relationships. It could be you. It could be the person that you know, you're know you seeing or the person you're with. Um, healing deep wounds is very important here. And this is why, again, I, I said I feel some sort of Therapy, energy, whether it's your own personal therapy, meditation, taking a step back, uh, having your own personal space, or whether this is just something that, you know, needs to be done. Uh, you may want to go to counseling or someone else may want to go to counseling, but it's not even. Okay, so if you want to go, they don't want to go. If they want to go, you don't want to go. Okay, because sometimes when someone doesn't want to heal from a situation they've either buried it down so deep they're embarrassed by what they could possibly reveal about themselves and this is why they don't want that exposed now for others of you the healing is in the upright and when the healing is in the upright what you're doing or what someone else is doing they have within them the healing energy. They want to heal the situation. They want to heal it for good. They don't want to have to consistently revisit the situation. So because you or someone else has the energy of healing within you, and you may be healing yourself in several different ways. You could be healing yourself through food, diet, getting rid of addictions, uh, healing your emotions from past, uh, you know, past bad discretion or bad decisions or uh, something going on uh, regarding, again, a very embarrassing and emotional situation that really has forced someone to say, okay, um, I got to meet you where you're at. And since you want to heal, I'm willing to heal and I am willing to take ownership of what I've done in the past, how I've embarrassed our relationship or how I embarrassed our family or how I embarrassed, you know, myself in this situation. And I'm willing to work on that now. So that 
definitely could be coming up for some of you. It could even be a conversation that you're having with someone you're interested in. Um, maybe they're going through the healing phase right now. Maybe they're a little bit resistant to heal. Well, you know what that is. That's like, you know, if you're resistant to heal, then, you know, it's time for you to look elsewhere. It really, really is. But if someone is willing to heal and they're on the journey of healing and you are simply a part of that healing journey and they don't take it out on you or they don't project on you, then that's a helpful uh, energy to have uh, around people that are going through their healing journey. And it's very respectful of them to ensure that you're not drug into their drama or their own internal conflict. Okay. What do we have going on with work life as well as social life? The world, world travel. Okay. The world travel, the completion of a phase. Uh, someone might be getting a new job and they have to move because of that new job or that new location where they're working. That could definitely be uh, the person uh, that you're dealing with could be very worldly. Maybe you are dealing with somebody uh, across the waters, so to speak, uh, dealing with foreign people, uh, with entrepreneurial ventures, uh, getting the word out uh, across the world, partnering with people across the world in order to bring a new service into uh, a situation as well. You may have friends and family who are very interested in wanting to travel the world. They're like, hey, you know, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to Italy, we're gonna go to Greece, we're gonna go to Germany, we're gonna go to wherever, and you're considering it. You're considering it. Now, some of you might be juggling finances a little bit right now, but you know, you're considering it. You're, you're like, you know, that would be a lot of fun, and you know, if, if I can make it work, I think I'm gonna go. So some of you Aries might be going through that, but why is the world card here? Why is this completion phase here? Why is this world travel here? Uh, why are you also kind of putting yourself in a situation at work where you kind of wanna be isolated, you don't wanna be bothered, um, you kind of wanna do your job and then go home, okay? If, if you're not working from home, uh, that could be what's going on for some of you Aries out there. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Soulmate energy. Nostalgia. Wanting to go back to a place where you were before. Maybe where you lived before. Maybe where you worked before. Going back to old friends. Going back to um, the idea of the nostalgia, okay? Like, you know, I've lived in this apartment for the last past, you know, 14 years in this location. Well, I wanna go back to where I was before and I want to make it more of something that is personally important to me because it brings back the energies it brings back the um the vibe of when i felt better about myself or or when i was younger or that type of energy but it could be the children as well you know so the reason you may have to complete something with work or with a social group is because of the children now i find it very very interesting there is a child here possibly a water sign um Maybe, yeah, it's 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 a water sign. Maybe it's a, a little bit of an air sign here as well because she is holding a sword. But there may be a child here that is causing embarrassment for the family or is causing a situation where there's a little bit of immaturity here and someone needs to do a better job at monitoring that or there needs to be an energy of perhaps it's time to have the talk with our daughter with our son regarding their activities their actions embarrassing the family going back to the place where we were before 
so that we can start over again. Okay, there's a lot of starting over from scratch with this energy since the uh, Virgo full moon, just letting you know. But why is this energy coming in here? Why is this energy uh, being attracted to you? What are you holding within engagement? Yeah. So it's really interesting for some of you out there, you may be getting engaged or maybe you just got engaged. Uh, there may be a situation uh, as it relates to this soulmate energy that's coming through and that is completing the phase so that you can now focus on the work. You can now focus on the social groups. You can be more engaged with the social groups, see friends you haven't seen in a long time, talk about travel with your friends. All of that is certainly coming through here. It's so interesting because sometimes when you hold the energy of engagement within you, whether that be you just got engaged or whatever, engagement means so many different things, okay? So you hold the energy of engagement within you. Well, the next thing you know, everybody wants to engage with you. Everybody, you know, wants to have you included in their plans and let's go out and let's do this. So some of you are feeling that energy right now and kind of going back to friends and places and um, situations that bring back a feeling of being part of something that feels really, really good, okay? All right, so this is what I have for the general energy and why the energy is here. So let's get into what your overall theme is for the month of April, 2024, the magician. As you think about, you bring about as below, so above. You have all the tools necessary for you to create whatever it is you want to create. So this may be why many of you Aries are saying, I have got to figure out how to remove my internal conflict my internal conflict regarding my work, my internal conflict regarding my family, my home, my love, my friends, my social groups, my finances. I have to work on those triggers that I have with these types of energies so that when I'm ready to engage again, I can then manif excuse me, I can then manifest what I want and not what I don't want. Let me see what I am getting from the magician as it relates to um, this energy. Psychically. Someone around you uh, is going to realize that there was a manipulator in their midst and that manipulator could be a friend of your son or daughter, that manipulator could be somebody at work, that manipulator could be a family member, whatever it is, but somebody is finally realizing, I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you, Aries. I think it's somebody else is finally realizing that they were um, being impressed upon or they were being influenced by a manipulator. And now that this is being revealed, now there's a course correction and there is kind of like a self-actualization or self-revelation. And someone is saying, you know what, I may need to complete that out of my life because I did not realize how much influence that person had on my life. And... Now I realize it was maybe just a game or I realized that, you know, this was something where they just wanted to have control and manipulate me. Some of you Aries are manifesting a new home. You are also manifesting potentially a raise or a promotion. even more clients that could be coming in for you as well. 
But the major theme being the magician is Gemini energy. So you might be dealing with a Gemini, but it's also the energy of I can be and create whatever I want to be and create. And what I have to do right now is keep it positive and make sure I don't have any internal resistance to this situation or this new beginning I am trying to uh, put forward. What is your overall advice, Aries? <gasps> Take a break, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So Aries, there may be some sort of energy coming in about working out. A treadmill might be of great significance. Uh, walking on a treadmill, running on a treadmill, that could be happening, Aries. For others of you, this could be where maybe you have been high octane for a while and you've been doing a lot of work for very little reward. And I think what's happening here is with the more work that you're doing, you are now going to see a shift because now you're removing the resistance that's kind of within you, that resistant energy. And because you're removing that resistant energy, more doors are opening up for you. So you won't have to work so hard to create the abundance that you want to create. So just understand, take it day by day, do what you can, but do not overwhelm yourself with, you know, duties and being hard on yourself when it's going to be there tomorrow. I mean, don't procrastinate, but it's going to be there tomorrow. It's, it's not going anywhere. So just manage your time because managing time did come up and manage your time with your loved ones, manage your time with your significant other, manage your time with, um, family members, and maybe perhaps Aries, you need to do something that's just for you, okay? Go get your spa day if you can afford that. Go, you know, put the do not disturb sign outside of your door uh, because you right now need your rest. Because I can see you've been very, very busy and you've been dealing with a lot of internal conflict regarding transitions and changes going on all over in your life. So maybe now is the time for you to kind of take care of you and get yourself recentered and recalibrated so that you can manifest anything uh, that you may want uh, coming up here in the month of April. Okay. All right, everyone. I wish all of you the best. I hope you like this big kahuna reading. Please remember all of the other signs are not getting a big kahuna reading. Uh, they will not be getting the internal energies that they're holding onto, uh, but they will be getting the rest of the cards. The internal energies are only for those birthday babies. So you better understand the types of energies that you're bringing towards you. So you know that you are part and parcel of all of the manifestations that you are seeing in front of you, whether good or bad. Okay. All right, everyone. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.